Tell me one thing. If you are given a certain duty and you fail to do it, how will you react? A responsible public servant will analyze the causes of failure and take a course corrective measure. Blaming the victims of the situation will never come to your mind. But that is how the Telangana Home Minister thinks. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Piyush and if you haven't subscribed to TFI English channel yet, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. Coming back to the story, in this video, I am here to tell you about how a Home Minister shamelessly tried to blame victim for a rape. Rape is not a new tragedy in India. Every year, thousands of such acts are reported which shake your conscience to the core. But very few incidents occur when a third party is blamed for the ghastly act. Believe it or not, KCR's Home Minister thinks that Advan Zamana is responsible for the Jubilee Hills gang rape. On May 28th, a teen girl was allegedly raped by five boys in Hyderabad. According to official reports, she met all five of them at a pub in the Jubilee Hills area. Apparently, all five accused of raping her are also minors studying in class 11th and 12th. Allegedly, one of the accused is the son of an AIMIM MLA. On the father's complaint, the police registered it as a case of sexual assault under the Section 354 of the Indian Penal Code and Sections 9 and 10 of the POXO Act. Later, after the counselling, girl revealed about the incident and the case was registered under Section 376D of the IPC and Section 5 and 6 of the POXO Act. Meanwhile, Telangana Home Minister sparked an outrage when he subtly blamed the teen girl for her rape. Mohammad Mahmood Ali, the minister, was talking to the media about the delayed investigation of the case. Ali said, "This is bagar kisi pressure ke. Kam karne wali hai to Telangana police hai. Jo bhi jiske andar khab, jo bhi khati khrar jaate hain, police kabi bhi unhe chhodti nahi hai. Police nahi kyunki usme minor bachche hone ke wajse se ek adin aage pichhe hua. Par hamari police barabar strictly kam karne wali police." Telangana police advance zaman aa chuka hai koi galtiyan ho rahi hain to uska bahut dukh hai aur police zarur control karegi he then went on to effectively blame the victim for the crime according to him the teen girl lives during the time of advance zamana asserting that the police will control these types of incidents he said advance zaman aa chuka hai koi galtiyan ho rahi hain to uska bahut dukh hai aur police zarur control karegi Probably, Mohammed did not think that people will get his subtle blaming of the victim. According to Mohammed, the girl was raped because she went for a late night party which she should not have been doing. Nothing more disgraceful and more shameful could have come out of a politician's mouth. Police and other law enforcing agencies exist to safeguard the freedom and dignity of the citizens. They are required to interfere in people's personal lives only when their actions harm larger public interests. Otherwise, their duty is to focus on safeguarding citizens, especially women and children. Trying to curtail someone's freedom because a person became a victim of crime is antithetical to the duty of a public servant. But this is not only time when Mohammed was found engaging in victim blaming. In the aftermath of the Hyderabad rape case in 2019, the Home Minister blamed the victim for the unfortunate fate she met. The victim did not trust the state machinery enough to call them in the times of need. So when she found herself in danger, she called her sister instead. But according to Mohammed, she should have called police instead of her sister. Three years later, Mohammad Mahmood Ali again proved that the Hyderabad victim was right in her decision. It seems as if she had dialed 100, police person on the other side would have blamed her for the rape. After all, this is the mentality being passed on from the top brass of political administration. Mohammad has now joined a coveted league of politicians like Mulayam Singh Yadav. Yadav had once exonerated boys from rape allegations saying that ladke hain, galtiyan ho jati hain. Ali and Mulayam may be the only ones who have spit out their inner feelings. Our political spectrum is filled with such people who blame victims for the crimes committed against them, especially rape. They do not say it to get votes. Instead, they say it because they actually believe in it. Such politicians need to be exposed and thrown out of public spaces. 